Colleges, high schools, you name it, graduation ceremonies around the country are being canceled or postponed. We've talked about that many times. But one graduate student and ER staffer saw an opportunity in this problem, sparking a national movement that you could be a part of right now. Chris has more on the initiative called Gowns for Good. Pomp has met an unfortunate circumstance as graduation ceremonies fall victim to the threat of the coronavirus. But a good gown is a terrible thing to waste. So we started two weeks ago, and it started as an idea. Fan Moore is just wrapping up an MBA at the University of Vermont. He also works as a physician's assistant at the University Hospital. He said he'd heard enough about the lack of personal protective equipment for healthcare workers around the country and thought, what can I do? And then it hit him. The fact of lack of PPE coupled with graduating seniors and their gowns going unused right now, we thought, what a better solution than to combine the two in an effort to support our local healthcare workers. Born was the organization called Gowns for Good. Fan and his team are asking an estimated 3.7 million high school graduates and an estimated 4 million college graduates, heck, every person with a graduation gown collecting dust in the closet, to donate it so it can be used to fill the PPE shortage across the U.S. How do you know if graduation gowns can qualify as PPE? The key here is these are not sterile surgical gowns. These are isolation gowns, which qualify and can be used to see patients. Fan says the gowns are surprisingly effective. A liquid protecting barrier covering the neck, chest, forearms, and waist. It's easy to don and doff. In fact, in nearly three weeks, Gowns for Good has received more than 65,000 requests for gowns. And it's climbing that... five or 6,000 gowns every day. Right now, we have donors from 46 of 50 states. Good for you. We're really proud and excited about that number. Um, we want to get involved with Gowns for Good. Breck High School is the first in Minnesota to team up with Gowns for Good by setting up a drop-off collection for gowns. And we're asking people to gently wash them, um, hang them to dry, and then fold them up and put them in a Ziploc bag. And then we'll have curbside donation. You don't even have to get it out of your car. Um, you can just throw it in a box. After they donate their gown, we're sending them a logo, our logo with instructions to cut it out and actually put on the mortar board of their graduation caps. And with this, if they still have postponed or digital ceremonies that are occurring, they know that they can wear this with pride. So check your closet, phone a friend, tag a school, let them know there's a way to help the front lines right now by wearing the cap and giving the gown. What can I do? It's something I've asked myself quite a few times. Maybe you have too. So here's something that maybe you can help out on. The gown drive at Breck High School that Chris mentioned is going to be this Saturday, May 9th. No, I'm sorry, not this Saturday. It's May 9th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. That's next Saturday, and it will be at the Golden Valley campus. If you don't have a gown and want to help, Gowns for Good is taking donations, and 100% of that goes towards the big shipping costs to get the gowns where they need to go. All of this information, I know it's a lot to ingest, is available to you at our website, carolevin.com.